Hi again, uh, I'd like to continue talking about um, CSS Grid, and this will be another short video um, covering another feature of CSS Grid. Um, in the last video, I created a simple example um, where we laid out six boxes on a grid. You know, here's my boxes here, and then I used, you know, grid, and I set the template columns to one fraction and the rows to 100 pixels, right? So that's pretty good. But what if we wanted to um, to do a little more with this, right? So what I'd like to do is I'd like to take one box and have it span the entire top row, then have a column on the left side, and then have another area take up, or another box take up this area here that's maybe two columns wide, and then have another thing go across the bottom as a footer, right? So we'd have a, a header, you know, a sidebar, a main area, and then maybe a couple of these could be part of the footer, right? Okay. So another feature of CSS Grid is the um, grid column start and grid column end. Okay. So what I'll do here is I'll I'll add a a a new class called header in my style sheet, and maybe this first box here will be a header. So I'll add a class name header there. And what I want to do is I want to say grid um, column start, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at column number one. And then I'm going to say grid um, column end. And I want this one to end at grid column number um, number three, okay? So I'll type in three there. And then I'll refresh this one, and you can see I go from 1 to 2 to 3. But really, I want this one to go all the way across. Now, I have three columns, but if I want this to span all the way across, it's got to go to column number 4. So it's really kind of like the edges, you know, the number here really represents the edge, right? So if I switch that to 4, now you can see this one goes all the way across, right? So that can be the header. Maybe I'll even type in header there just to kind of remind us. You can see it says header there. And then, now what are we going to do? Maybe maybe the second box here will be the sidebar. So I'll give it a class name of sidebar. And maybe I'll just, I'll just keep this up high here um, in the view so we don't lose it at the bottom of the page there, right? So I'll, I'll, I'll call this sidebar. And then I'll, I'll start this one at grid, um, column, start. And I want it to start at number one. And then I'll say grid um, column end. And I want this one to end at number two, right? Okay. But I also want this one maybe to span like two columns or two rows of height, right? So that means I'll have to add another row here to my grid. So maybe I'll, I'll do that here. I'll say another row will be 100 pixels tall, right? So I'll have two of these, but I want this one to go from here to here. So, so I've got grid column start one and end two, right? And then what I'll do is I'll say grid row start at number two, right? Because this would be one and two. And then we'll do um, grid row end at number, uh, this would be one, two, three, how about number four, right? And then there we go. Oh, hey, that's pretty good, right? So um, maybe I'll need, if I got one, two, three, actually I'll need a fourth, um, a fourth row over here, right? So maybe I'll add another 100 pixel row. And these could be any size. So actually, you know, maybe the first one here should be, you know, 50 tall and the footer should be, you know, 50, right? And then the two in the middle will be 100, okay? Okay, so now we're doing pretty good. So let's say we have a main area now. So I'll make an area called main. That'll be the third div. Let's call this guy sidebar and put main in there, right? So there's sidebar, this is main, but I want main to span these four areas here, right? So uh, let's add a style for main, and we'll say, you know, grid um, 
column start will be uh, number two because he's going to start at grid at column two and he's going to end at uh, at four right and then we'll say uh, grid row start at number two and end at um, this would be two three and four right let's see at grid row end at number four okay now we have this blocking in the main area and I have these three items here but maybe I'll just use one of them and we'll have this span the entire bottom area as the footer right so um, maybe I'll call this guy footer here and we'll make a style for footer and this will be uh, you know what I'll do is I'll just I'll just copy all this right let me actually put the semicolon there and copy it right and so this guy will start at column one end at column four he'll start at row number what would this be one two three four so he'll start at four and end at five right oops I mean oh yeah I forgot to put the class name on there right so if I want this to be footer we'll, we'll put a class name on it call it footer and then we'll refresh it and this goes across now the other two boxes here don't display because I haven't supplied an area for them so if I added another row or worked out the columns here then I could I could fit these in somewhere else what's really cool about this is using the grid column start and end you can place something anywhere in the page no matter the order that it appears in your HTML so it doesn't seem that useful but in everyone in you know when you start doing um, responsive websites that need to look good on mobile and look good on the desktop you often find that this is a problem okay so let's let's actually do one last example with this so let's say let's say this is like um, kind of a login or sign up thing and it should fit in this column right here as part of the header and then sometimes on mobile I put this at the bottom of the page or I squeeze it in between these two right but on the desktop I want to put it right up in here right so the first thing I need to do is I need to make sure the header stops one column early okay so let's find the header and we'll end at column three okay so now one of these guys kind of squeezed in there anyway but uh, let's let's call this guy like login right and we'll just save that right so it actually kind of squeezed in there by accident but let's actually put him there explicitly right so let's copy the class name login and I'll put in login here and then I'll just copy this block here there's actually a shortcut for this but I'm just gonna do it the longhand way right so we should start at column number one two three right and then we should end at column four so this would be one two three four would be over here and then row start should be row um, one and it should end at row number two right so now we explicitly placed this guy up into this corner right and you know we could control where he displayed or where this guy displayed um, you know by changing the values here so if you used a media query you could rewrite this for another screen size or some other situation right so anyway thanks for watching and I hope that explains um, grid column start and end thanks for watching